Well, look at that. I landed right at the foot of the Upper Ascension Station, the site of the Organon headquarters, and the birth of the last high boat to Elysium. I need to be careful from now on. Well, more careful than usual. This place is crawling with Organons. They're obviously withdrawing from the city. I wonder what they're planning. Maybe I can eavesdrop. Move! Hurry it up! There are still some crates that are bound for Elysium. No, not that one. It's supposed to go to the third intermediate level. As long as he's guarding the loading, it'll be difficult for me to hide in the crates. I'll have to distract him somehow. Finally, something around here works. I bet the other two aren't doing as well. <laughs> Those idiots. Huh? What's that? And to conclude today's show, I have a very special treat for you. You all know him, you all love him, and here he is now with his current smash hit, Cowboy Dodo, with Look At Me! A solar-powered, illuminated sign. is a Cowboy Dodo fan. Now that he's distracted, just have to find an open crate. Preferably one that will be taken to Elysium, and then it's goodbye to Podia. <laughs> Pity the goal is here. I shouldn't have left her fate in the hands of that stupid other movies. Same old story. If you want something done right, do it yourself. I bet those other two are doing as well as me. They call me the Cowboy. we go. This one is going to Elysium. Darn. It's a pure combination lock. There we go. This one is going to It's a pure combination lock. Darn. It's too small for me to hide. Oh, darn! Can't get it open as long as there's something on top of it. Oh, darn! Can't get it open. Oh, look at me, look at me, twerp. Whatever. As long as his yowling distracts the guard, I'm not gonna complain. He's distracted. This is my chance. I'd have to run right through the guard's line of sight. That's a waste of time. I should find a crate that's going to Elysium instead. Once you're big again, I will never kill you, chop you in thirds, or turn you into an infant again. I promise. 
Oh, golly. <laughs> you forgive everything I do. That's what I like about you. Something's moving back there. You said, what? Are you calling me a, a scaredy cat? Yeah, okay. You're welcome to go look for yourself, Miss Loudmouth. Yeah, you see? It's such a nice day outside, and I'm hanging out in the sewer. Oh yeah, oh, one more thing. Before I shine a light into the darkness there, always keep yourself between me and the man-eating monsters. We don't want anything to happen to me, after all. <laughs> I can't believe how stupid those Organons are. <laughs> and now, after the unparalleled success of Look At Me, we are pleased to be able to present you with the first exclusive preview of his new single. Here for your listening pleasure comes Cowboy Dodo. And look around! Oh no, not the B-side too. Wow. You just can't get your eyes up. Can you expect the very Yuki Dairy show is over? I'm a venue. Don't you ever have to blink? What are you some kind of guppy? Why don't you just watch a bunny on my vigil with a puppy? Look, dumb ones, if you get it now, we've done enough already. I'll just stroll off somewhere else. And you stay here nice and steady, right? Oh, well, it's no better. What's the matter? I'm a bolding as a bogey. I might not say what the thing you are beholding. Now you stare at me as if there was just rubbish on the telly. And I can't even blame you for I also have a belly full of living here. Where all you see is laughing full of litter. I hope I eat the pony here. I know it may sound bitter. But somewhere up Elysium is bound to be found. You just Facing the wrong way, so turn around. Didn't we agree? Nothing here for you to see. Now get lost, never be found. Just look around. Got a stiff neck, maybe whip my swearing blink. It's got your hip flash out your different work. I've got mine. Look around. Listen to the cowboy dodo. Cowboy dodo. Deeply da ba. Look around. Look around. Is actually got a point. People really should look around a lot more of their lives. Otherwise, they miss out on all the intruders! Alarm! Look around you. It's worse than I feared. Are you my daddy? Uh. I hope not. And if I am, then you must take after your mother. I'm Rufus. Please excuse my sister's lack of restraint. She's just glad that we finally found a grown-up. I'm Rusty, that's Gretchen, and our little brother is called Hansel. The soda straw is called Hansel? <laughs> your parents were real sadists, I guess. Well, put it this way, they abandoned us down here in the sewers. We've been stumbling around in the dark by ourselves for quite a while. Could you maybe help us? Of course I could, but I don't want to. Beat it! That isn't the proper reaction. As a grown-up, you have a responsibility to help poor children in need. I've already got one ankle biter around my neck. Help yourselves. Chew! Sit. Stay. Hey, just stop that. We aren't dogs. Yeah, you can say that again. Dogs are intelligent and able to follow simple commands. Sit. Stay. Hey, just we are dogs. Yeah, you dogs are in. Hey, didn't I tell you not to come toddling after me? I am on a dangerous adventure. But we need your help. Yeah, and I told you, this is not for children. You could wind up in a plasma skirmish. Or be eaten right here on the spot by that witch. She looks very hungry. Well, I never. I won't stand for such insinuations. I do not eat children. Oh yeah? Then what are you doing here? I collect old bottles and sell them to the sewers in. There's a pub down here? Excellent! I could really... 
wait a second, you wouldn't happen to have found a container with a green liquid in it? Yes. And I got the five slotties for it. Fantastic! You see, Gold, I told you I'd rescue you. <laughs> One doesn't need any mycological training to know that this mushroom here is completely harmless. <laughs> Ouch. One doesn't need any... Ouch. Do you really have to hound me like this all the time? Yes. <laughs> yeah, whatever. But I hope you know that children who contradict grown-ups will be eaten by evil clowns. <laughs> Ouch. Hello again, unfair lady. Ah, the young father is back. I already told you, they aren't mine. They seem to think otherwise. Yeah, but I, I didn't sign up for this. Oh, I believe you. If you want some good advice, Mama Cosima's hand crochet johnnies are extremely tear resistant. Where's the exit? From the sewers, there isn't one. <laughs> Those who wind up down here are damned to remain here forever! 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 <laughs> you know, you're laying it on kind of thick for someone who isn't a witch. Sorry, ever since I stopped taking the pill, I've had these strange mood swings. Where did you take the nucleic acid again? I sold it to the sewers in for the five slotties. Leaf says it's some kind of super fertilizer. But it was my super fertilizer! How was I supposed to know that? After all, decent fertilizer gets flushed into the sewers all the time. And it's rather unusual for people to come by later and lay claim to it. So you have five slotties? Yes. All five? Huh? There isn't a lot of money here in the sewers. To be more precise, there are exactly five Zlotties. And at the moment, they belong to me. Hmm. Sounds like a very manageable, stable currency system. It was, until hedge funds and speculation in the financial markets led to massive deficits in current accounts. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. I, I, I see. Will you lend me your five Zlotties? No. I want to keep them. Oh, come on. Don't be that way. I mean, what good is all the wealth if you don't share it with your friends? Very simple. I love it when people make monkeys of themselves for me. <laughs> Why exactly do you need the five Zlotties? I'm keeping them. I love it when people make monkeys of themselves for me. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? I'm making a monkey of myself, so that you'll give me the five slotties. Sounded more like a rusty water pipe to me. Does that mean I humiliated myself for absolutely nothing? No, don't worry. Before you can humiliate yourself, you first have to attain a certain standard. You wouldn't happen to be interested in some tasty little kids. Oh, and what a coincidence. They cost exactly five Zlotties. 
But, Mr. Rufus, you can't just sell us to a stranger. Hush now. Grown-ups are talking. Don't worry, boy. I have no intention of letting some random idiot palm a bunch of children off on me. I don't want to end up like my mother. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. Tasty little children. I already told you, I'm not interested in your brats. If I wanted to, I could have a whole grain silo full of the things. But I decided to pursue a career instead. I've got to go. But why? We were just having fun and... Uh, uh, wait a moment. Did the water here just get warmer? Like I said, I've got to go. Ciao. You're nuts, Ralphie. Why? Just because I decided to become a vegetarian? That's exactly why. After all, you're a slime monster. And slime monsters eat children. I can change, you know? <laughs> You'll never stick with it. Like that business with your correspondence course. Yeah, you'll see. Well then, enjoy your dinner. As for me, I'm gonna toss a couple of kitty arms and the barbecue. Do that. I'm gonna take a nap. Yeah, try not to leave your mouth open so wide this time. Otherwise, a couple of kids will wind up floating down your throat. Ha ha ha! Hey, yeah, screw you too. What do you say now? This is definitely an ideal spot for a good night's sleep. Are you sure? Of course. It's out of the wind, it has a roof, and there are places to sit. What else could one ask for? Well, it has a certain menace, shall we say? It's scary. You've said it, Gretchen. Are there any guarantees that there are no dangerous monsters lurking in the dark? Monsters? <laughs> You're such a bunch of idiots. There's no such thing as monsters. Except, of course, for that giant insect that almost killed me a little while ago. Oh, you should have seen its teeth and those long legs. Disgusting. Ugh. It still creeps me out when I think about it. But that was over there, somewhere on the other side of those dark, far apart pipes. <laughs> Where was I? You were trying to explain to us why this is a good place to spend the night. Oh, yeah, spend the night. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's perfect, isn't it? But it's dark and cold. Whoa, whoa there! Complain, complain, complain! Ah, oh, rats! No electricity! stuck. Oh, no wonder. The way these things are built, they only fly from their sockets during an electrical spike. stuck. <laughs> no wonder. The way these things are built, they only fly from their... Reception down here is lousier than Bozo's beard. I can't even figure out which goal belongs to the white team. Yeah, 
and even without breaking it off. <laughs> this is definitely a first. And what I ask you could be tastier than meat in a light pastry crust. Mmm, smells delicious. Ah, a cooking show. Just the thing to make you fall asleep. Where are we supposed to sleep here, Mr. Rufus? It's way too cold and dark. Can't negotiate with people like that. They only know one language. Fistic Cuffian. Judging on size and weight, this box probably contains a somewhat smaller box. Or something entirely different. It's uh, hard to say. Wait a minute, I know those derelicts. I wonder where the other two knees wound up. I hereby declare that my search for the missing link between humans and monkeys is ended. Because I really don't want to be descended from him. Well, the music isn't all that bad, but their act really needs work. There's something missing from this jack. It's something, I don't know, like a crank handle. And it should fit exactly into this crank hole. And what could it be? Oh, such a funny little monkey. I'm not a monkey. Oh, it talks. Do you know any other tricks? I could smash your nasal bone up into your brain if you want me to. Wow, I was thinking more along the lines of, you know, flinging poo, something amusing like that. <laughs> ook, ook yourself. How much does it cost to see the monkey dance? Five zlotties. And if I give it a peanut? Hey, I am not a monkey, and the price is not negotiable. Wow, it can talk. Okay, let's say two peanuts. Oi, mate. What do you think you're doing? Isn't it obvious? I'm going to the pub. We've brats in tow. Were you dropped on your head or what? They aren't mine. Yeah, that's what my old man always said. And then he tied me and Macy up outside the pub. And did it harm you? Well, I don't know about Macy. Her leash broke. Uh, oh. What is it now? Mr. Rufus, we can't get up there. Who says you're supposed to come up here? We need to stay with you. It's just too dangerous here for children like us. Nonsense! Danger is like ghosts. There's no such thing. Certainly not here. This area is teeming with nice people. So scram, go, go and play. <laughs> How cute. We've already found some friends. Wait, I know those. Goon, you old war horse! What are you doing here? Oh, no. Not you. Not you. Is he a horse? Far from it. Goon? Why are you being so rude to the poor guy? 
Unfortunately, he has a good reason. We used to be best friends. No, we were not. Yes, we were. We even had a hip-hop project going. Oh, no, we didn't. But then I, I just left him in the lurch. I still feel terribly guilty. What on Deponia are you talking about? I thanked my lucky stars the moment you were gone. Yeah, I know. I know. You're bitter. So, it's a good thing that we meet again. I have so much to make up to you. I don't get this at all. Oh, I almost forgot my manners. You haven't introduced me to your lovely companion. Do I have to? Goon? All right. June, this is Rufus. Rufus, this is June, my girlfriend. Pleased to meet you, Rufus. Don't be so hasty. Oh, yeah. The good old days, huh? Our long conversations about social disparities, a warm campfire, freestyling on the key wall. <laughs> oh, that was just a couple of days ago. Yeah, time really flies. You broke my umbrella and forced me to eat a boot. Sounds like you're fun. Fun? June, he's completely crazy. We were both crazy back in the day. Did Goon ever tell you about his legendary pranks? Oh, one time. <laughs> he dressed up as a bum to annoy the poor people in the slums. <laughs> uh, it wasn't like that. He even smeared poop on himself so that he would stink as much as they did. <laughs> June, don't believe a word he says. No, let him finish talking. This is the first time I've met one of your old friends. But he is not an old friend. He's more like a mad being from a bizarre parallel universe. Yeah, life was crazy for us all back then. So, how's life been treating you, old pal? Uh, let's see. Uh, apart from the chronic pneumonia that I caught, and the fact that it really hurt when they had to remove the shoelace from my intestines with a probe, I think things have turned out pretty well. I met June. We've been together now for almost a week. And right now, I couldn't be happier. <laughs> couldn't be happier. Oh, that's a good one. Have you looked around? Hello? You're in the gutter. We don't care. Just as long as we've got each other. Oh, <laughs> stop! I can't take any more! <laughs> no, sorry. I, I don't mean to make fun of your misery. I I'm a changed man, and to prove it, I am going to repay you for what I did to you by getting you out of here. Yes, sirree. So, the two of you are really together? With all the trimmings? Ding dong! Know what I mean? <laughs> yes, we're together. It's just perfect. And what about you and that goal? Oh, this is also uh, super. <clears throat> also ding dong. Oh, yeah. Does she still have those problems? I, do, I don't know what you're uh, talking about. Well, she would suddenly go oddly childish. Oh, <laughs> that. Well, let's, let's just say our relationship has, has gotten off to a real new uh, start. You live in the sewers? That's terrible. We're fine, we're happy. Oh, no, 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 we can't have that. You're such good people, you deserve something better than a life in the gutter. A beautiful townhouse. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Look, a villa, the finest house for the finest couple in Porta Fisco. Oh, how sweet of you. And you know what? I am going to help you. No, Rufus, really, don't help. Anything but that. Goon, what is wrong with you? You know, I, I owe you an apology, Goon. I, I treated you pretty badly last time. Oh, that's so sweet. I, I wish I could do something to repay you. You could just disappear and leave us in peace. Goon, what has gotten into you? It's all right, June. I can understand if your friend feels resentment towards me. I treated him very badly in the past. It's no wonder he doesn't want to accept my apology. I'll simply have to live with a guilty conscience for the rest of my day. Uh, you'll survive. I'm afraid. Good. He apologized. Now say something. All right. Rufus, I'm not mad at you. But whatever you did to me, 
Ultimately, it led to me meeting June, and I'm really grateful for that. Oh, if only it were that simple. But I sense that I have to do something for you to really make amends. What? No, 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 no. no don't do anything. It's fine. Do you hear? Something really, really big. Oh, heavens. I insist on doing you a favor. No, Rufus, that really isn't necessary. We're happy the way we are. <laughs> yes, yeah, sure. Happy in the gutter. <laughs> you jokers. <laughs> but seriously, I have already got a couple of ideas about how I can radically improve your lives. Radical? Oh, help! What are you planning? <laughs> I'm not telling. Let it be a surprise. Oh, isn't that exciting, Goon? Goon, are you trembling? Oh, <laughs> Be seeing you. Please, at least give us time to find hard hats. Goon. Uh, can I borrow the uh, space heater? Well, you know. It's pretty cold here, but if it isn't too long... Uh, June, uh, let me handle this, all right? What do you need it for, Rufus? Well, you know, I, I thought, uh... Oh, oh, I just remembered that the warranty will be void if we lend it to you. Sorry, Rufus. Perhaps some other time. Uh, can I borrow the, uh, space heater? Sorry, Rufus. Perhaps some other time. Um, hey, snot faces, give me a leg up, will ya? But Mr. Rufus... Uh, but Mr. Rufus, sir... Yeah, all right, my bad. Just forget it. Um, hey, snot faces, give me a leg up, will ya? But Mr. Rufus... Uh, but Mr. Yeah, all right, my bad. Just forget it. Male assistant wanted. Yeah, well, she can just keep... yoo -hoo. Huh? Rufus? Is that you? No, it's your reflection in a puddle in the gutter. Of course it's me. Wait a minute. You ended up in the sewers? <laughs> You're in it up to your neck. Yeah, well, at least I'm doing something useful. Scuba diving in the toilet? I found gold, and I know where the nucleic acid is. And what did you achieve? I kept my coat clean. And have you alarmed the rebels in your clean coat? Not yet, but I met Bozo. Unfortunately, he's no help at all. You call that news? <laughs> no, not really. Anyway, it's good to know we can meet up here and share things through this grate. Yes, that may come in useful. I could hand some objects down to you. Wouldn't it be just the coolest thing if there was a new interface element for that? Hey, that's awesome. Let's hope it works the other way around as well. Great. I'll go see what I can come up with then. Uh, maybe I can find you some toilet paper. Yeah, if there's a choice, can you get me the three-ply stuff? I better not bother him. No. Ah, I see. <laughs> Very much so. Excellent. 
you'll find all the important information on our products in there. There's even a small preview of the upcoming winter fashions on the back. If you are subject to winter depression, you should act now. Many models are out of stock during the holidays. Um, what are you doing? I'm making a paper airplane. What else? But my beautiful flyer! Well, we'll see if it's a beautiful flyer in the test flight. No time for black box testing. Where's my letter opener? I've been missing it since the first time Hermes cloned me. Instead, I have this strange jabbing sensation in my tummy. Thousand. These things can't. on here? This shady character is trying to lure us into his van under very suspicious circumstances. Uh-huh. So what are you waiting for? You cannot be serious. Children must never enter strange people's vans. That's a very important rule. Nah, nah. Rules are for people who are too clumsy to cheat. I'm sure this friendly gentleman only has your best interest in mind. Right? Um, yes. Of course. He claims that he's got a petting zoo with cute animals in there. A petting zoo? <gasps> really? What? Um... <laughs> Actually... Ooh, me first! A out of my way! Ooh, ooh! It's pretty dark in here for a petting zoo. And where are the cute animals? Um... Well... Here. Right in front of you. Oh boy, oh boy! <laughs> I'm so excited! Whoa! What? What are you doing? No! You're... You're killing that poor animal. That's nothing of the sort. Yes, you are. You're choking it. No, no, don't worry. I'm really good with animals. Stop it! Immediately! Get out of here! No! There's no reason to get so upset. I was just finished anyway. And? What am? It was totally cool. The animals were mega cute. And I got to pet them. I think you're fitting. Ha, ah, you're just envious. Next time, I'll make a print. Then you'll weep with envy. <laughs> I'm so envious, I want to die. <laughs> and then I'll laugh. I think I'll leave that in the coat. I don't want to look like... Knock, knock. What do you want now? I want to visit your petting zoo again. No. Hey! What do you think you're doing? Ah, oh, don't sweat the small stuff. I just want another peek at your animal. But, but, stay cool, man. I'll only be a minute. Whoa! What? What are you doing? No, no, don't worry. I'm really good with animals. Stop it! 
Immediately! Get out of here! No! There's no reason to get so upset. I was just finished anyway. And? Do you have proof now? <laughs> Certainly! Oh yeah? And what is that supposed to be? It's a cuddly woolly platypus. Oh yeah? Well, woolly platypuses only exist in Australia or Junk Pan. Um, maybe it was uh, something else. It's an adorable kitty cat. Oh yeah? Yeah. Here's the head and there's the butt. And what's that? Uh, whiskers. On his bottom? Um, maybe it was uh, something else. It's a cute puppy. Oh, yeah? What breed? Ah, uh, uh, wire-haired dachshund. Don't they have a shorter nose? Um, maybe it was uh, something else. A colorful butterfly. Do you really call that a butterfly? Of course. Look closer. Here are the wings, and here's the, um, uh, you know, whatever they are. It is a butterfly. I have a, a, a randomly chosen item from my inventory. And I'm not interested. We're on an important mission right now. What's that you've got? I have a, a, a randomly chosen item from my inventory. And I'm not interested. We're on an important mission right now. Hello, you... Yo, what, what are you... I need someone who can I... You are Rofus! Yeah, I know that, but Liebold appears to have forgotten. So will you come to the gate with me, so he'll finally let me into the camp? Maybe later. We're on an important mission right now. Oh yeah, you're painting each other's nails? Nah. We're giving each other tattoos of our squad insignia. Unfortunately, we're still missing a suitable design! <laughs> what about a little pony? Or an adorable kitten paw print? Are you trying to tell us we're not tough enough? Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, I, I suggested that because I'm, I'm a macho male. Uh, not because I, I love adorable <coughs> kitten paw prints. If you want to test the toughness of my fists, just let me know. I've got an idea for your squad insignia. Let's hear it. What about a shark? Huh. That's not a bad idea. Mm. Don't you think a shark might make me look fat? Uh, that would depend on the color. What about... <coughs> Dusky pink! Uh, but then it won't go with the shoes. I'm sure you'll find something. If you think of anything, unless it's... I don't want you can't all right I don't have time to bother that's more I found the right design for your unit here hey that's not bad that looks sort of fierce <laughs> you can say that again a fierce butterfly you cupcakes Whatever it is, you found the right design for our squad insignia. Now we can get started. Are you sure you want to watch? Getting a tattoo isn't for sensitive souls. Sensitive souls? The very nerve. As you wish. Sensitive souls. Yeah, I don't believe it. I've jammed hot needles in parts of my body that...
What do you know? It was so boring, I just fell asleep. Can I take this deck chair? Sure! I mean, sure! Got dearly the instructions! Never! A marine doesn't need instructions! Suit yourself! Suit yourself! Can I have the crowbar? Sure! I mean... <laughs> yeah! Sure, pal! Take it! Why do you need one? As a shoehorn! I see. Hey, Lottie, can you come to the gate now to identify me? No, I... And right now! I have to wait until the swelling on my tattoo goes down! Uh, yes, but... I said... No! Hey, no access for civilians! I'm not a civilian. I'm part of the Resistance. Which, by the way, is also why you were going to accompany me to the gate. Well, tough luck. I have new orders. I'm supposed to guard the radio and bring in any messages from the front. Well, I've got a message here. From the frontmost front. I have to get into the rebel camp. And Fronto, at Pronto. Then talk to the Major. She sets the priorities here. Yeah, you bet I'm going to. Wait a second, that's no Major. That's just Tony. You know, Major T? That, that, that's my ex-girlfriend. I see she's moving up in the world. Not just professionally. Any <laughs> goat. the gate now to identify me? No, I'm supposed to guard the ring. But if you want to complain, I'm busy. Surprise. Rufus, good to see you. Yeah, yeah, and your mother smells of... What? It's what to see me? Good. Yeah. I was afraid something had happened to you. Hey, something's different. You got a new hairstyle? Close. A new therapist. Yoo-hoo! Tony! Ah, Rufus. Won't you sit down? Things seem to be different with the Resistance these days. Thank you. That wasn't a compliment. Everything here is so... Organized? Boring. Lame. Dreary. I guess that's because we drove the Organon out of Port Fisco. We have new equipment and new command structures. Excuse me, I can barely hear you. Your mechanical beard is making too much noise. So, you found yourself a new therapist? Yes, and he is really good. For one thing, I no longer have this recurring nightmare where I'm being chased by a gnu, where the walls are dissolving around me until the whole house collapses on top of me. Yeah, that was quite a memorable day. And you must admit that the gate really stopped squeaking after that. How can you just sit here totally unperturbed? The world is coming to an end! Does that mean you ran out of your famous plans? Oh, of course I have a plan. But for that, I need, you know... Help? A minimum of support. Remember, it's me who's saving everyone's fat, lazy behinds around here. In that case, let me thank you. But there's no need for you to save us. We've got a plan of our own now. If you want to help us, just sit somewhere and don't touch anything that flashes. Or is in any way combustible. Or yellow. But you know what? Don't touch anything at all. Come on! Death to the Organon and all that. I know that you mean well, but there's no need for you to save us. We've got a plan of our own now. If you want to help us, just sit somewhere and don't touch anything that flashes. <laughs> I know exactly how I can draw out the old Tony. Spare yourself the effort. <laughs> you should know me better than that. When have I ever made an effort? Do you remember 
how I used your grandmother's urn as a pudding bowl. I'm sure you had your reasons. Yeah, but the, the thing is, that wasn't pudding at all. <laughs> hey, that's really a good answer to the question where that funky smell came from. Thanks for letting me know. Do you remember how I tried to teach Mr. Woofy to fly? Yes, I certainly do. And I apologize if my reaction back then was a bit over the top. I just couldn't control my fists or my brass knuckles. Yeah, but you don't even know the best part. A week later, it worked after all. <laughs> and the story about Mr. Woofy being hit by a falling weather balloon is only half true, you know. What? Now that's a relief. In that case, my reaction was completely appropriate. Do you remember how I secretly took photos of your mother in the bathroom? Yeah, but I never understood why. Because I never told you that I sold the pictures to old ogling Aussie. <laughs> of course, I had to throw in some, um, you know, underpants, or I couldn't have afforded a sticker album. You are such a prankster. Always good for a surprise. <laughs> I have risen from the dead. Congratulations. Doesn't that scare you at all? Rufus, there were so many times when you blew yourself up, set yourself on fire, sawed into your leg, or got trampled by stampeding buffalo. You really have to come up with some new tricks if you want to impress me. Aww. There's three of me now. All right, now that is but also totally absurd. But it's true, I cloned myself. I think we would have noticed by now, from the reign of ash or some such thing. There's three of me, honestly. Ooh, boring. Oh, I give up. You do? Oh, remind me to send my therapist a fruit basket. Come on! Death to the Organon, and all that. I know that you mean well, but there's no need for you to save us. We've got a plan of our own now. If you want to help us, just... I need to talk to this new general. Can you take me through the gate? I could, but I won't. I need to finish my meditation first. Excuse me, does that mean you're just gonna sit here? The Organon might be initiating the detonation of our planet at this very moment! While the last high boat is still anchored at Ascension Customs? Unlikely. Unlikely, unlikely. Will you still be saying that when everything around here suddenly turns into a, a, a flaming fiasco? Oh, uh, now that was highly unlikely. You mean, like back when you tried to turn lead into brass instruments? That was a completely different matter. Anyway, it would have worked if only I hit the high F sharp. Oh, Rufus, just relax. We've got everything under control here. The general has a plan. Come on, Tony. I just want to get into the camp. And I say, you had better stay out of it. We've got everything under control here. So the general has a plan? What kind of plan could that possibly be if it doesn't involve me? That's a secret. But I'm the leader! You used to be the leader. We have a new general now. New general, new schmeneral. Lo, lo, lo. You don't even have a war anymore. I mean, where's all the action? The explosions? The dismembered people? The burning huts? As I said, we have a new general now. And what, what's the deal with that secret plan? That's a secret. Yeah, you don't expect me to, to simply swallow that. Why not? You swallowed an entire liter of paint thinner, and everybody knows that stuff causes immediate brain damage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was cool. It's not over yet. What isn't over yet? Uh, no, well, it's over. But I'll be back. No rush. Oh, Rufus, what are you doing? I'm <laughs> making you live it. I am, right? By playing around with the radio? Not at all. Be my guest. Huh? Really? Sure. Go ahead. Well, uh, yeah. 
I don't know. It's, it's no fun when it's allowed. Be my guest. Huh? Re sure. Go. Well, uh, yeah. It's no fun. Go on. You know the game. Shoo! You can't get at it that way. This just won't work. Uncle Rufus needs to the fate also. No, Rufus, no. no. Ugh, you can't keep following me forever. Don't you ever get tired? Well, it's way past our bedtime. All right then, go take a long nap. And where exactly should we sleep? Hey, that's not my problem. Oh, yes it is. Either you tuck us in nice and cozy, or we'll just keep following you. Oh. Um, hey, snot faces. Give me a leg up, will ya? But Mr. Rufus... Oh, uh, but Mr. Rufus, sir... Yeah, all right, my bad. Just forget it. <laughs> Go on. Shoo! Hey, snot noses! Come here! And now be good and keep still, okay? What exactly are you planning to do? Keep still! That applies to your pie hole as well! Ta-da! Here we are. Bananas. Oh well, could have been worse. If I really understand quantum theory, then I had a 50% chance of finding a dead cat in there. That was at least a tit. Hmm, slim. Go on, shoot. Hey, snot nut. Come eat. And now be good. What exactly? Keep still. Ta da! That was at least... Hey you! Monkey want a banana? And you're calling me a monkey? I wouldn't mind having a banana. No way! It's bad enough that I have to play the monkey. I won't be insulted on top of it. But you make the better monkey. What are you trying to imply? Never mind that now. I'm hungry. And with all that fuss you're making, we'll never get those five zlotties. I'll take the banana. Oh, so you are making the decisions now. Oh, I'm sorry. Me and my monkey will gladly accept the banana. How dare you! Hey, come back, you monkey! <laughs> ah, rats! Can I borrow the crank? Go ahead and take it. I need a new partner anyway before I can start grinding again. And this time, I am definitely not going to be the monkey. But remember, I need the crank back. <laughs> sure. Ah! 
As in previous years, the prize for the most obvious inventory puzzle goes to the crank. Let's hear it, ladies and gentlemen. Au revoir, mes amis. May this jack lift your van into a better life. Rufus, poet, philanthropist, and back patient. Go on, you know the game. Shoo! Goon? Goon, you old war horse! What are you doing here? Hey, Rufus, I don't know how I can ever thank you. That's no reason to get all sarcastic. I know I treated you badly, but I've mended my ways. Yes, I know. I could hardly believe it. And then you found us this great place in the city. Yeah, I, I did. How odd. Oh, yeah. The good old days, huh? But Rufus, we already talked about that. We did? Not that I can remember. Can't have been that interesting. So, how's life been treating you, old pal? But Rufus, we already talked about... We did? Not that I can remember. Can't have been that interesting. Why don't you come out into the sun? But who? The grass allergy. Ah, so what? Will it kill you to stand for a moment? After all, it isn't good for a relationship if you're constantly in each other's lap. Says the man responsible for the bizarre impairment of his girlfriend's sanity. <laughs> bizarre impairment. <laughs> I have to remember that one. Where is she anyway? Yeah, um, okay, next topic. <laughs> Be seeing. Yes. See you. Ciao, Rufus. Uh, can I borrow the uh, space heater? Sorry, Rufus. We still need it. Although, it's a lot warmer here already. Why don't you just come out into the sunshine? Hmm. Tempting. But, Goon, your grass allergy. Ah, so what? Will it kill you to stand for a moment? After all, it isn't good for a relation. Says the man <laughs> Where is she, anyway? Yeah, um... Okay, different idea. Can I have the space heater if I find you something to sit on? Oh, deal! <laughs> as long as it isn't an electric chair. <laughs> I already said deal. Here's a deck chair for you. Oh, Rufus. We couldn't possibly accept that. Of course you can. But it must have been expensive. Ah, you can reimburse me later when you're back on your feet. Who needs money when you can make someone happy? Wow, Rufus, I don't know what to say. How about thank you? Oh, yeah. Thank you, Rufus. And you'll get your money back, I promise. Now hurry. Uh, can I borrow the uh, space heater? Yeah, go ahead and take it. We're about to go lie in the sun. Oh boy, I can hardly wait.
This won't help me loosen the fuse. The way these things are built, they only fly from their sockets during an electrical spike. Here's a space heater. What for? So you'll be nice and comfortable. Sleep well. Yes, but that's not how it works, Mr. Rufus. We're in water up to our necks. Oh, making demands, are you? No wonder your parents abandoned you. I've got an idea. Now all we need is electricity. Fuse should go in there, or alternatively, one of those handy power inverters that so far have been disappointingly rare in this game. A fuse should go in there, or alternatively, should go in or alternatively why doesn't that like then I could always I wouldn't have to this won't help me loosen the fuse the way these things are built they only fly from their sockets during an electrical spike this won't help me lose the way these things are Hey! What do you think you're doing? Leave my face alone! I thought you were done playing the monkey. Yes, I am. But that doesn't mean you can just steal all my stuff. Who said anything about stealing? I just wanted to help you find a new partner. Then bring back my crank first, until you do. I can't use a new partner anywhere. Leave my face alone! I just wanted to help you find a new partner. Then bring back my crank first, and heal me. Fine! Just stick it back on the organ, alright? Bingo bongo! Hey! What do you think you're doing? Are you... I wouldn't dream of it. Then leave my face alone. Unless, of course, you know someone who would be willing to take over the job. Let's see. Hmm, do I know someone who would like to play the dancing monkey for a monkey in a sewer? Hmm. I would also give you my first take as a finder's fee. Oh, maybe I'll come up with someone after all. Show them the face. It's the only cool thing about the job. You've already done more than enough for us. Oh, isn't he sweet? Huh? Who now? Oh, Goon, yeah. Oh, yeah. And how. <laughs> no, you're, you're serious, right? Are uh, you getting anywhere? Oh, oh, not really. I wish there was an instruction manual. Oh. Well, you can't have everything.
Can I borrow the crank? I thought you were going to get me a dancing monkey. Yeah, so? What do you mean, yeah? What am I supposed to do with a dancing monkey? Or was it that you weren't really glad? Sure I was. Yeah, of course. If you change your mind, I want my... Here, nobody wants to play a monkey for you. Did they tell you why not? I'll ask them next time. Can I borrow the... Go ahead and take I need a new partner at this time. But remember! <laughs> sure. As in the crank! Let's hear it, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, how many more times are you going to turn that crank? I don't know. Is there a limit? Yes, and you used it out. Oh, come on. Just one more time. Ah! All right, you get to turn that crank just one more time. But then, I want my crank back. Do you understand? Yay! <laughs> no, wait. What am I doing? Hey, I said you're done with that crank. But... No! Hey, what do you think you're doing? Leave my face alone! I just wanted to help you find it. Then bring back my... Until you do, I can't use a noob. Hey, I said... But... No! Fine, just stick it back on the organ, all right? Bingo bongo! Do we still have it? Of course. You give me a new partner, and I'll give you my first take. As oh, that sounds fair. <laughs> Go on. You know the game. Shoo! Are you alright? Nothing is right. Everything was so perfect. Kuhn and I had this little place right in the middle of the town, and then we were separated. No, oh, it's a jungle out there, you know, and some people will end up getting eaten. <laughs> Thanks, Rufus. But all I want is to have my Kuhn back. Yeah, but if you had a job, you could buy the crank from the organ grinder. You think so? That sleazy guy has already tried to hit on me more than once. What would I have to do? Well, just, uh, support his act a bit. It's no big deal, really. Hmm. That doesn't sound too bad. Decide it. You can discuss everything else with him. In the meantime, I'll find you a paying audience. Male assistant wanted. You're looking for an assistant? Ah, oh, so you can read. Bravo. I'm looking for... <laughs> I said handsome, didn't I? What's wrong? June's gone. Aw, women. Which reminds me, you still owe me money for the deck chair. Rufus, I'm completely broke. Stop lounging about doing nothing. I've got a very interesting help wanted ad for you. 
male assistant wanted for retail rep salesman. Oh, this, I don't know. What's this? A handsome applicant. <laughs> what? Hey! Whoa! Burrito wraps, just one twenty-five zlotys a piece. <laughs> Bravo! Encore! Hey, goon! Burrito wraps, just one twenty-five zlotys a piece. Wow! I see you've really gotten into your new job. Burrito wraps. Burrito wraps. What's wrong with him? He's focusing. You are his first customer after all. Are you sure? Burrito wraps. He seems kind of moonstruck. Burrito wraps. Trust me, that's perfectly normal. The host has still to adapt to the symbiote. The host? Uh, a host. You have to be a good host if you sell burrito wraps. Perfectly normal. Have you found someone who will play the monkey for me? Yeah, indeed I have. June will take over the job, if she can have the crank for it. What? Beautiful June will play the dancing monkey for me? <laughs> oh boy! I've got to delouse myself thoroughly before she arrives. Hello again, unfair lady. Ah, the young father is back. The organ grinder has a new monkey. A new monkey, you say? Oh, I definitely have to see that. I hope the performance is really demeaning. <laughs> that would actually be worth five slotties to me. <laughs> dance, little monkey! Dance! <laughs> Shameful! That was truly awful! The poor girl! And I'm only giving her the five slotties because I'm sorry for her. Do you hear that? The crowd is not pleased. So the next time, you need to look a bit more friendly. The next time, but we had an agreement. As soon as you earn the five slotties, I get the crank. That's correct. But the five slotties don't belong to me yet. I need them to pay off my expenses first. Expenses? What? Ah, Rufus, you've got to help me. The stupid monkey won't give me that crank because he claims he has to pay some kind of expenses. Well, yes, that's right. Go ahead, Rufus. Tell her. Uh, well, you know, uh... Rufus, but what are you doing? What does it look like? He is taking what he is due, his commission, for successful job recruitment. Yeah, I, I, exactly. The, uh, commission. Does that mean you sold me? What? No, I, I wouldn't put it like that. Rufus, you sold me to a monkey, all the while acting like you wanted to help me. But I need that crank. Oh, gimme, gimme, gimme. Can't you see how this money is making monkeys out of all of you? As if there wasn't anything more important in life than filthy lucre. You know, you should be grateful that I opened your eyes. I found you a job and taught you a valuable lesson. It doesn't matter what you do, as long as you stay true to your goals. Because the end justifies the means. Which, strictly speaking, makes me a saint.
You're still dancing. That's because I still need the crank. Is it really worth it, playing the monkey? You could just give me the five zlotties instead. Yeah, I don't know. You actually dance pretty well, but five zlotties well? Four burrito wraps, please. Four burrito wraps coming right up. That will be five zlotis. Come again any time to... I, uh... I think there's something wrong with your assistant. What? Has his system crashed? Uh, try turning him off and then on again. Burrito wraps, just one twenty-five lotties apiece. Ah, there we go. Please excuse the small glitch. No problem. It's so hard to find good employees these days. I'll get it out that way, or my name is Doofus. No. <laughs> hey, no comments from the peanut gallery. The way these things are built, they only fly from their sockets during an electrical spike. Hey, snot faces, what about making yourselves useful? How? You could stick this conductive antenna into that outlet. You mad! You mustn't poke things into outlets. Oh, yada, yada, yada. You must have misunderstood. I've done it a thousand times. Here we go. And now? Hold on tight. Just wait. It's about to start. <laughs> Did you say something? No need to worry. Nothing happened to Uncle Rufus. <laughs> Jubilee relation. Okay, right, snot faces. Time to sleep. Yeah, but... Save your breath. No yabbats. You got light, you're warm, and you already blew your veto. So there you go. Good night. Why are you still awake? You haven't touched us in yet. 
<laughs> tucked you in <laughs> like a shirt tail. No, not like a shirt tail. When you put children to bed, you need to tuck them in. Don't you know anything? Sure, I know plenty of stuff. Like uh, a napkin, right? could be tastier than meat in a light pastry crust. Mmm, smells delicious. Ah, a cooking show. Just the thing to make you fall asleep. What's wrong? Why are you still awake? You haven't tucked us in yet. <laughs> like a No, when you put children... Don't you know... Sure, I... Like, uh... Watch out, it's gonna get really comfortable now. For me at least, because your constant whining will come to an end. to sleep. I don't know. Now come on, don't pretend to be more stupid than you already are. I mean, I know you're dumb, but you can't be too dumb to fall asleep. In that case, even those sleeping scorpions back there would be smarter than you. Oh wait, my bad. They're not actually sleeping. They're lurking. What's wrong? Why are you still awake? We're hungry. Ah, uh, you're cold, overexcited, and hungry. What'll it be next? A classic, like, I need the bathroom? Well, actually... Ah, uh, share goalie's bucket. Yuck. What's wrong? Why are you still a- We're hungry. Uh, what'll it be? A classic. Well, Actually, I should have a look inside first. I should have a look inside first. Well, not again. Well then, let's see what Lottie has in her lunchbox. What is that? Lottie didn't take her hormones. Maybe the fortune teller was right after all. What about it, kids? Wouldn't you like some cool, colorful prescription medicine? Yay! Yay! But wait a minute. You can't just give random medicine to children. Yes, of course. I, I know that. Of course not. Because, uh, because it's expensive?
What's that you've got? Is that a message from the front? No less. Not from Bozo, by any chance. <laughs> would I lie to you about such an important topic? Or would I leave the conclusion to your imagination in the hope that it might by chance help me out? Yeah, enough with the fancy schmancy. Give me the letter. My dearest honey bunch. Huh. Are you sure this letter is for me? Bambi. Honey. Makes sense. Some people get poetic when they're mortally wounded. What? Ah, sorry. I <laughs> didn't mean to jump the gun. Wait. Here is Honey Bunch. Uh, I wish you were here with me. Blah, 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 blah. To be more exact, I stepped on an Organon landmine. Oh, no. Bozo. Is he all right? Well... Is he still alive? Tell me. Or do I have to pull the information out of you in the form of your brain tissue through your nose? Hey, hey, stay calm. No reason to get aggressive right away. I'm just a mailman. Bozo is with his family. You should set out right away. Wait, there's more. Watch out for the mailman? Oh, no, the small print isn't that important. Go on. You're losing valuable time. Right. I need to be by his side. Hang on, Bozo. I'm coming. <laughs> that was easy. And I didn't even have to lie. Presenting the new and improved Rufus. Forget the Rufus you once knew. Lottie didn't take her hormones. Maybe the fortune teller was right after all. Lottie didn't take her hormones. Maybe the fort... Pouring oil on a fire is one of my favorite pastimes, but in this case, I may as well just go back on the conveyor belt. Here's a photo of Bozo's first spelling bee. He never had any luck with L and F, but nobody could touch him when it came to E. Hello? What's he wearing? Oh, that's a little skirt he made himself from dental floss. Oh, that's nice. He saved up for months. His breath was terrible. Uh, uh, Yoo-hoo, Deponia to Sergeant Bambi. Oh, how sweet! Be, be very thrilled pajamas. Why does he look so embarrassed? I have no idea. Actually, he was supposed to help me put fresh sheets on his bed. What a mess. Huh, they're totally out of it. Hello, I am Bailiff Argus. Tremble before the deadly punctuality of the Organon. <laughs> oh, wonderful. You found my breast milk pump. <laughs> what? Yum. That looks tasty. An outstanding consistency. And the way it looks. Even without the use of mealworms. <laughs> hey, what do you think you're doing? Can't you wait until dinner is ready? But it smells so good. You think so? It's just leftover roast ready. <laughs> oh, no, that would be a shame. 
Who knows if future generations will even still like roast drippings? Hey, Grandpa! No rushing me. Dinner is done when it's done. Right. I was waiting for that. At some point, even I draw the line, and that is right here. Better not. I don't like thinking about that fiasco with my hormone cakes. Bozo is just unbearable when he's got PMS. Better not. I don't like thinking about that fiasco. Bozo is just Hey, snot noses, here comes your grub. This will get you nice and tired. <laughs> Man, did they dig in. They only left one plate, and now they're asleep. Actually, they're kind of cute. <laughs> I could just eat them up. There it is! Hey, hey, there it is! The nucleic acid that I can use to grow gold up again. Luckily, the cylinder still seems to be in one piece, and the fish was already swimming in it. Looks like this tankard is still half full. Better take a closer look. No way! It's empty. You seem familiar. Do you have any siblings? I had a brother. Had? What happened? He tried to smash a stone block with his head, just when I told him to go easy on the mushrooms. <sighs> Whatever. Just leave me alone, unless you want to buy me a drink. Yeah, there's already enough alcohol in the soup, and Grandpa Bozo knows what tastes good. Oh, I doubt he needs that. He already has enough emotional baggage to carry. You seem familiar. Aren't you that dog groomer to the stars? Eh, hey, close. I'm a fruit seller. I inherited the business from my father. They called him King Peach. You're the heir to the famous King Peach Empire? That means you're... At risk of alcoholism. Exactly. So beat it. Unless you want to buy me a drink. Looks like this tankard is still half full. Better take a closer look. No way! It's empty. Uh, yeah, who had the tankard with the dandruff stuck to it? Nah, doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, who had the tankard? Nah, doesn't matter. You seem familiar. Do I know you from somewhere? Well... Comic book Charlie the Friendly Yeti. Of course, I'm a big fan. No, no, don't tell me. Oh yeah, I'm <gasps> the original character. What? No, I'm the guy that delivers the ink. Oh, that's uh, <laughs> terrific. But you know, they always do stare at me and scribble frantically whenever I arrive. I think I need more alcohol, so you beat it. Unless you want to buy me a drink. There's something missing here. My permission. Uh, no. A tankard.
Yeah, I need that uh, cylinder with the uh, green fluid over there. The nucleic acid? A good choice. This stuff just came in. Yeah, I know. That was a mistake. Actually, it belongs to me. Dream up, kid. I paid the five slotties for it. But I'd be glad to offer you a special price. Hmm. And that would mean... It costs more money than there is in the entire sewers. Exactly. An unimaginable, unprecedented amount. Six slotties. I like that picture of Elysium. Can I have it? No. The picture stays where it is. It's important. What for? For the customers. Oh, I see. Because it cheers them up, right? On the contrary. It keeps them in a permanent state of dissatisfaction. That's Elysium. The symbol of hope. Of a better life. A life of order and satisfaction. I'm sort of only one step away from it. You want something to drink first? Yeah, sure. Ah, oh, a new customer. What can I do for you? I need the nucleic acid extremely urgently. The fate of the world depends on it. Six Zlotties and it's yours. A tankard of your finest swill, please. Sure thing. Have you got the five Zlotties on you? What? You pay cash here? <laughs> How old-fashioned. Where I come from, I could just put the swill on my tab. Tab? Like some sort of... No. Yeah, exactly. Then my customers could drink a lot more. <laughs> You've grasped the principle. And I would earn a lot more. Yeah? I mean, yes, of course. That doesn't sound too bad. Help yourself. And if you bring my other customers something too, you're welcome to put a two-slotty tip on the tab. Oh, yeah. Deal. Can I put the nucleic acid on my tab? <laughs> you must be out of your mind. It's worth a fortune. I'll get the money somehow. <laughs> I'd like to see that. Six Zlotties. There isn't even that much money down here. I like that picture of Elysium. Can I have it? No. The picture stays where it is. It's important. What for? For the customers. What for? Because it cheers them up, right? On the contrary. It keeps them in a permanent state of dissatisfaction. Well, that's Elysium. The symbol of hope. Of a better life. A life of order and satisfaction. I'm sort of only one step away from it. You want something to drink first? Yeah, sure. Nice clientele. Yeah, if you like freak shows. Hey, is that any way to talk about your customers? Well, look at them. A parade of sad sacks without a single prospect among them. You know, those sad sacks are your livelihood. Oh, I didn't mean any disrespect. I'm just a realist. If you want to feel better about yourself, then everybody else has to feel worse. Right? What? No, it, do it doesn't work like that. Oh, you want everybody to feel better? Yeah, as long as I'm one of them, yes. Then answer me this simple question. Better than who? Well, <laughs> uh... I guess I'll hit the... Huh. What? Hey, hands off! We don't serve that stuff here anymore. Why not? For one thing, I ran out of slime pipe mouldings. For another, the stuff has a bad effect on my customers. And it's hard enough running a pub without the customers flinging turtle shells at each other. Hey, hands off! We don't serve that stuff here anymore. Why not? First of all, because it has an unacceptably negative effect on the morale in this pub. And second, there have been complaints that in some cases, the effects of the brew can only be reversed by surgical intervention. Hey, hands off! We don't serve that. Why not? First of all, because my customers act like monkeys when they drink that stuff. Secondly, because it's a hell of a lot of work to get all the hair out of the tankards. And thirdly, because it's getting harder and harder to get the secret ingredient. Ever since my mother started the menopause. Hey, hands off! We don't serve that. 
I propose a swap. The prize for the nucleic acid is six floppies. And that is that. Oh, darn. There's room for a little more. Oops, <laughs> maybe not. Yeah, that's gonna be tasty. I always said I had the makings of a bartender. Refills! Finally. Refills! Finally! <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is getting kind of warm in here. Yeah, that's gonna be tasty. I always said I had the makings of a bartender. Refills! Finally. Ah, it just explodes. That will put hair in your chest. Yeah, if only it was just the chest. The best swill I've had in ages. You go ahead and you add a tip to the tab. You all right? <laughs> yeah, if you say so. Just as long as you don't drive. You all right? Yeah, yeah if you say so. Just as long as you... a witch. You must know a lot about mushrooms, right? I'm not a witch, you lout. Yeah, never mind that. Do you know if I can find a mushroom like this around here? It just so happens I do. Yes. And? Which is it? One of these here? Three guesses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if that's all... Huh. You've got it with you, right? <laughs> you guessed right. Congratulations. Here, go ahead and take it. <laughs> Thanks. It's been itching like hell. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be tasty. I always said I had the makings of a bartender. Mm. 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 Mm.
refills. Ah, uh, finally. Hey, wait a sec. What you doing? Well, my job. I'm meeting customer demands. That's what the ancient Romans called service. Because only satisfied customers are paying customers. Right? Where'd you hear that nonsense? This is a pub. People's dissatisfaction is my livelihood. If you keep on like that, I'll be ruined. The only thing that's your and here is your attitude. Take a look around. What is this? I feel great! Bigger and stronger! <laughs> uh, maybe because you're standing on the table? Fantastic stuff! Yoo-hoo! Hmm. They actually look rather happy. Told you so. <laughs> Heavens to Betsy! Ow! What can I do for you? I need the nucleic acid extremely urgently. The fate of the world depends on it. Six Zotties and it's your... I guess I'll... Huh. What if the... My guest. Huh? Really? Sure. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, it's no fun when it's a lot. You. <laughs> huh, nothing. Huh, nobody seems to be sending on this frequency right now. Don't you see? I still believe that I think I know how I can get her to come out. Spare yourself the effort. It's not a... What is no... Uh, no, well, it's over. But I'll be back. No rush. Where did they get all this stuff? in such a short time. They even have the new, uh, model, uh, 67.5, uh, 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 no, wait, that, that isn't a model number. That's a label with the radio frequency they use. Be my guest. Huh? Sure. Well, uh, yeah. it's no fun when it's a lot.
Yoo-hoo! Huh, nothing. Huh, nobody seems to be sending on this frequency right now. For this, I need nothing but my fingers and the strong determination not to be overwhelmed by the dangerous swamp gas of trash culture. Remote control, easy chair, and potato chips wouldn't be a bad idea either. Good idea! If I set the frequency of Tony's radio on the baby phone, I can reach Tony any time! Easy! Now all that's left is the question of why I should radio her at all. She stopped fetching me from random bars with a wheelbarrow a long time ago. Rufus, why don't you just admit that... Wait a minute. One Rufus? Two Rufuses? <laughs> exactly. There's two of me now. Three, actually. Three times the action! Rufus! 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 Ah! All right, Tony, just stay calm. You have a good therapist, and you're gonna see him right now. <laughs> that was fun. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> Obviously. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> Nothing. Obviously Tony's still in her therapy session. Therapy session in progress. Oh, such lousy timing. How am I supposed to get at the medicine now? And now suddenly, I see him twice. What does it mean? Is my subconscious trying to give me a heart attack? I have a feeling this is going to add months to my therapy. We must extend it. What? Make it even longer? Um... I mean, what the kind of schedule were you thinking of? Well, at least until the world ends. And after that, let's see. <laughs> of course, if you make the nose of a paper airplane heavier with a weight, it'll fly farther. I knew my long career as a parking offender would eventually pay off. Hmm. And have you? I'm still browsing. Yes, that would be the perfect distance for a maiden flight. And the target is also well chosen. By now, 
he must have realized that he needs help. Well then, let's relieve the poor devil. Whoopsie! There must be some strange updrafts here. I won't bother him now. Now, I can't do that right now. Tony demands his complete attention. I hope for his sake that he was smart enough to use earplugs. Another rebel. Another one. Oh, but that's the same one again. He must have escaped somehow. Huh? But I've never been here before. Very funny. Move. Lock him up in his cell again. Hey, hello? Yoo-hoo! What do you want? Stop making such a racket in there! I'm hungry! That's probably because you never touched your breakfast. Hang on, I'll open the food slot. I need the bathroom. Again? Fine. But this time, don't use so much toilet paper. We've already cleared the store. Do you mean that if someone were to prevent the destruction of the planet, the Organon would be out of toilet paper? That would be correct, yes. <laughs> Fantastic. How's that for an incentive to save Deponia? Yeah, I want to talk to my lawyer. Who's your lawyer? Well, uh, actually, I, I was going to defend myself. Whatever you like. Then go ahead and talk to yourself. But no longer than ten minutes. Understood? I demand a clean cell. This is a clean cell, and I'm very proud to say so. We have all the latest cleaning technology. The blankets are lint free and the toilet fresheners are dirt repellent. And I shampooed the rug earlier today. Wow. Life in the service of the Organon gets pretty boring, huh? Oh, you have no idea. I'm not feeling so well. <laughs> I think I'm getting sick. No, I don't care, as long as you don't barf on the rug. Let me out of here. Forget it. Ah, uh, nothing. Then don't bother me. 